I decided for this video to go a throwback. If you guys haven't been with me for a long time, you're a new subscriber or a new viewer to this channel, when I first started covering the Winnipeg Jets, I didn't really show my face a lot. I didn't have a really good webcam, and I just thought it was more, you know, better for the quality to just post my, you know, opinions and my voiceovers over top of NHL gameplay, NHL gameplay actually from the video games, not real life gameplay. So I thought for today's video, since I finally got to go to a Winnipeg Jet game after two and a half years, why not do it old fashioned and actually talk over some live coverage from the game that I shot from my seat. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over the Winnipeg Jets preseason game three two that they, that they ended up losing to the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, this was a very fun game. Actually I believe this is preseason game four if I'm not mistaken but either way it doesn't matter what game it is. I believe it might be three, probably three. They ended up losing by a score of 3-2 in a very weird game because this was a very evenly matched game, I have to say. Uh, being there, experiencing it from puck drop to the end of the game with the buzzer, obviously the Canucks obviously had a lead. They were up 3-1 at one point in this game before the Canucks Jets were able to come and make it 3-2 and almost be able to put up enough pressure to make it 3-3 and force overtime in the last couple of minutes there in the third. But the Jets didn't really, you know, have the best stars out there tonight. And like I said before in the game one against Ottawa, this is preseason. I don't care. I'm not going to be going into depth about criticizing this team because it doesn't matter. Anything we see here can literally mean fuck all a week from now because it's preseason and nothing matters. So take everything I say with a grain of salt because like I said, it's preseason. Moving on from that though, and I think I've said preseason enough. That's the last time I'm saying it. The Winnipeg Jets played a good game, in my opinion. Like, obviously, the guys that I wanted to see perform well, I think performed pretty well. Um, I liked Evgeny Sveshnikov in tonight's game. Um, I really thought that Christian Reichel played pretty well. He was able to get a goal in that third period to make it 3-2. Uh, he was really good, I felt like, tonight. Uh, obviously, as well, another guy who kind of had a good game is Jeff Malott, I believe is how you pronounce his name. He was actually able to register two points tonight and assist on the Christian Reichel goal and scoring the first goal of this game uh, for the Jets in the first period to make it 1-1 after Bo Horvat scored from Pearson. So, there's not a lot of scoring for the Winnipeg Jets. Obviously, a former Winnipeg Jet in Nick Patan being able to get his first of the preseason on the power play and a really, really nice uh, goal there. I Actually, it wasn't on the power play, but he had a lot of power play time and he was, uh, Nick Patan had a really good game, you know, and I just wish him the absolute best with the Canucks this year. I really hope he can find his home in the NHL, but, you know, aside from Nick Patan, I like the Jets game and let's talk about who I thought was the standouts and who I thought were, you know, a little bit okay. And starting off with the standout list, we're going to be going over the goaltender for tonight, and that was Mikael Burden. Now, Mikael Burden tonight, uh, he, I honestly, I was pretty happy with how he performed. He went, uh, he so stopped a good amount of shots. Uh, he played well. He wasn't horrible. He let in maybe one weak goal, but in my opinion, he was more composed than what we've seen from Eric Comrie. The only question I have about Mikael Burden at this point, about him being a backup potentially for Connor Hellebuck, is, is it that we rushing him? That's my only concern right now, is that yeah, Comrie is probably not the best choice, and Mikael Burden is probably going to be a better goaltender, even than what probably is a better goaltender than what Comrie is right now. But do you waste Eric Comrie and Mikael Burden, how do you do? How do you handle that? Do you waste Mikael Burden and you give Eric Comrie his opportunity? Do you, you know, pretend? Do you, you just risk it? I, I don't know really what to do there with Mikael Burden. I would love to see him play with the Moose for another season. Uh, do I think that's going to happen? I'm not quite sure. I, I really don't know. Um, but I think that he has shown he can be a NHL backup goaltender. But I don't really know if I want to see him play in the NHL yet. It's just weird because like I always talk about, you know giving prospects the opportunity to play with the Jets. I think that's very important. But for with goaltenders, I'm never, never, you know, in a, in, a, in a rush to get them to the NHL. I think they need to develop, and the more time they can play at the AHL, I feel like can get them more composed and prepared for what type of NHL experience and shots that they'll be facing. And honestly, I think one more year of burden as the legit number one for the Moose this coming up season, and then having him be a backup would be much better than Eric Comrie. It's really going to be a wait-and-see situation, but I, I liked Mikhail Burden in this game. Um, I thought he played pretty well. He made some pretty damn good saves. Uh, the defense in front of him wasn't really good um, because, you know, the defense was deep. The defense, I'm going to talk about it, honestly. I didn't want to go too in-depth in it, but... Paul, why are you using Nathan Beaulieu the way you're using him? He had extended time on the penalty, kill, and the power play. He was just everywhere on the ice tonight, I felt like, and I hated him. 
on the ice tonight. He was slow, sluggish. He does not look good. I, I, I just didn't think he was a good fit with this team at all. I actually, if you can't already tell, my voice is killing me for talking for four minutes already. I didn't realize how much I actually was screaming tonight at the game. Damn, I have lost my voice a little bit. I'll try to keep this short. Uh, short and sweet, as they say. But other than that, uh, I thought Jonathan Kovacevic, thank you to all you commenters for finally being able to help me nail that pronunciation. I don't know why that name screwed me for so long. But either way, Jonathan Kovacevic, I feel like, had a good game tonight. Even though he was a minus one, I've always said plus minus doesn't mean anything. Dylan DeMello was a minus two tonight, so take that as you will. But either way, I think Kovacevic is honestly going to be a decent defenseman for us. I don't know if he makes the Jets. He's been pretty impressive in preseason, but... If he doesn't make the Jets and he's a call-up guy or, you know, someone that we need in case of injuries, I like Kovacevic more than I liked Pullman in tonight's game, and the Canucks are paying Pullman $2.5 million for the next three years, so I think that that's a win if you're Kevin Dayoff and, you know, drafting Kovacevic and having him where he is, so I, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, also a note, Logan Stanley got injured in the second period, he did not come in for that third period. Uh, I didn't even see the play happen, I feel like, it just next thing I know I saw on Twitter from the Jets PR and now, uh, team on Twitter, account on Twitter that Stanley was out, so I was like, oh, well, I, don't, I didn't see anything very big, maybe I was looking at my phone for a second, but either way, Logan Stanley went out, hopefully it's not long term, because that can really mess up the way the defense will look at the start of the season. Maybe it'll give Ville Hino an opportunity to jump in, and I'm not opposed to that, but also Ville Hinola hasn't been the most impressive defenseman throughout preseason. He had a good game tonight. His first was mediocre, but I really liked him in the second and third. He had really good skating tonight. He really showed off how well, you know, well he can turn those corners and move the puck. I really thought he was good in the second and third, especially in that third period with moving the puck and jumping on the rush. Um, other than that, Pierre-Luc Dubois was kind of, you know, mediocre tonight. You know, I was screaming at him a little bit from the stands, you know, calling him a bum. You know, I can't help it. I just don't see anything in him. Every time he steps on the ice, I just feel like he's just another guy out there. Like, Pierre-Luc Dubois was the big name tonight. Like, when you look at the forward core, the only other regular was Andrew Kopp, and then that's basically it. Uh, and that, that was it. Jansen Harkins maybe the other guy that has the most time played for the Jets on that list. Uh, and yeah, so when you've got Cop and uh, Dubois are your you know two regulars, and they both do almost nothing. Well, Cop was not bad tonight, but Dubois especially did nothing, and it's impressive in my opinion. And he was a minus two. Uh, I, I just don't know. I, I'm concerned about Pierre-Luc Dubois, to say the least, but you guys already know that. I want to see him in a full season, but at this point, I, I really don't know. I, I have a lot of questions about him, and I haven't seen a lot in the preseason to really warrant praise, in my opinion, so hopefully we'll be able to see more from him. Obviously, when you trade line for someone like that, you, you want to get a good return, so I really hope he can pick it up, but it's been a little questionable in the preseason so far, in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion. You can have a different opinion. Let me know what you feel about PLD in the comment section below, as usual. But uh, other than that, I thought that this was a good game for both teams. The Canucks are a team that I root for as well and watch a lot of. I thought that they looked pretty good. A lot of their guys as well. This was kind of like their B team as well. They didn't, I would say actually their C team even. Like obviously JT Miller is a good regular. Hoglander is a regular. Uh, Tanner Pearson's a regular. But other than that, they didn't really have a lot of guys. Garland is going to be their new regular, but he's just still trying to find his way in. Chase on looked okay for the Canucks. Uh, Horvat had a great game, goal and assist. Uh, but he's always good, uh, consistent bow. And also, the other guy I want to talk about is uh, Madison Bowie. He got an assist tonight for the Canucks, and I just want to give him a shout-out because I feel like he played pretty well. Um, I don't know. Madison Bowie always gets a hard rep. I always thought he was a pretty good prospect, but he had a pretty good game tonight. So, you know, credit to Madison Bowie. I thought he played well for the Canucks tonight. And honestly, I think that's going to round out this game recap. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a f great game to go to. It was awesome to be live, not to mention the fact that I was able to get a puck from Evgeny Svechnikov. So, Mr. Svechnikov, thank you so much for the puck. You're an awesome man, and I was glad I was able to make you laugh. And thank you for the puck. And also, I want to give a shout-out to my dad, because he's awesome, and he hooked me up with the tickets tonight, so love you pops, appreciate those tickets, we sat lower bowl, and also I want to give a shout out to the Winnipeg Jets Instagram, whoever took my photo and posted on the Jets Instagram, so yeah, I was on, I was, I am the away fan, apparently, that they took a photo of, and even though I am the, the away fan, apparently I am to the Jets organization too, so with all that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about this game, peace, love, and positivity to all you beautiful people out there in the world, I will be back with some more Jets content very, very soon, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and more importantly, Go Jets, go.